Now we can change our state like we can log in. Okay, but we have here an issue. Log, when I close the app and open it again, what's that? I need to log in again. I press login and I go to change my name. Okay, and I close the app and open it again. Oh my God. Now I'm not logged in and my name is not changed yet. So I want when I'm logged in and close the app and open it again, I want to still logged in, not logged out. Okay, and that's what are we gonna learn today. We're gonna learn Redux Persist. We have a great library called Redux Persist and Redux Persist allow me to save my data in the local storage. Okay, so let's use that this package. Yarn, add, Redux, persist, persist. And we need also React Native async storage. React Native. We need to install that package. On here. And finally, let's install our bots for iOS, CD iOS. This step is optional if you are using Android, okay? Now let's just copy that import and go to our store file and paste it here. And let's call it storage. And let's, let's run our app. And we need also those two necessary imports. Import from Redux Persist. We're gonna import Persist Reducer and Persist Store. Okay, let's create an object called Persist config. That's the metadata or the data that we want to store. Okay, the key is gonna be the root because we want to store all the data. I mean all the state, whatever he's logged in and his name too, okay? And storage is gonna be our storage from async storage. But since we are using ASX, we can delete that, okay? Because the key equals to the value, I mean in the naming, so we can remove it. And here in user reducer, we're just gonna add that persist reducer here and put the user reducer inside it and before it we just need to add the, this configuration okay now our last step here inside this folder let's just export const our persister and this equals to persist store and just add here the store now let's press save. Now we have logged in, okay? We are here logged in. Let's close our app and open it again. Great, we've still logged in here and here we can change our name and here in our profile. Let's change our name. For example, let's make it inside sitting screen. Let's make it new name and let's press save. Now we've logged in and our name is new name. Let's close our app and open it again. We're still logged in and my name is new name because we have persisted all the data inside our local storage. So to get rid of this data, we need to remove all the app or the clear local storage. But I wanna mention something. This approach here is not completed or, or it's not the best approach for big apps. Since we're gonna create a big app using Redux Toolkit, I prefer an approach better than this because this approach persists all the state. But in big apps, we don't need to, to store all, all our state. We just want to store something like is logged in and some settings and so not all the state because it's a, a bad approach but i have do it like that because you are beginners and i want to make it easier i want to teach you with the easiest way but later we're gonna 
change that approach and add more feature things to allow us to do more and more and just persist some state and leave another not all the state if you like that lesson don't forget the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching